Hello everyone, welcome to Anonymous World. Hope you are doing well. So in this video, we will see a new topic which is included in Port Sugar Academy, which is API testing. So there are around three to four labs, I guess. And so we will cover uh, all those three four labs in three four videos. Okay. So first we have an introduction to API text testing. Uh, so what is that? So APIs or we can say application programming interfaces. Uh, these enable software system and applications to communicate and share data. Now API testing is also very important because vulnerabilities in APIs may undermine core aspects of websites confidentiality, integrity and availability. So APIs are heavily used to uh, access data or make requests to that particular server or website. Okay, so uh, a misconfiguration API may lead to expose the data which was not supposed to be exposed. Okay, so all dynamic websites are composed of APIs. So classic web vulnerabilities like SQL could be classed as API testing. So in this topic, we will learn how to test API that aren't fully used by website frontend and basically focusing on RESTful and JSON APIs. Okay, so we'll also learn how to test for server-side parameter pollution vulnerabilities that may impact internal APIs. Also, you can go through OWASP API Security Top 10 2023. So let's go. So the first topic is API Recon. So to start testing, uh, for any testing, we first uh, do our Recon, like uh, gather all the details we can gather about our target to uh, plan our next uh, uh, method like how we are going to approach that target so similarly in api testing also we first need to find out as much information about the api as possible to discover its attack surface so to begin you should identify uh, api endpoints and these are location where an api receives a request about a specific resource on its server so the example is given here so get request is being made to the endpoint api books and the host name is example.com okay so the API endpoint for this request is API books. Okay. And similarly, another API endpoint might be API books mystery. So it can list all the books under the mystery category like that. Okay. So the input data, the API processes, including both compulsory and optional parameters and the types of requests the API accepts, including support HTTP methods and media formats. Like you can also give the a request body like when you are making a put request or post request using api you need to provide the request body as well now so our first lab is related to api documentation so how we can find out uh, different api endpoints using documentation okay so documentation can both be in human readable and machine readable forms human readable is designed for developers to understand how to use the api and which may also include detailed explanation, example, and scenarios. And while on the other hand, machine readable documentation is designed to process by software automating tasks like API integration and validation. And uh, normally, these are uh, written in JSON or XML structure formats. Okay. So the documentations are often publicly available if it is intended to use by external developers. So that documentation is a very good start for uh, doing recon. Now, what to do if documentation is not available or openly? We may still able to access it by browsing application that uses API. So, uh, an example is given here. You can use, first you can use a browse scanner to call the API. You can also browse applications using browse browser. So it may find the uh, endpoint for API documentation. For example, open API.json or swagger index or testimal. So, uh, these are some common endpoints where API documentation can be found. So otherwise, uh, this is a very good example. So suppose API swagger v1 users 1 to 3. Okay, then you might remove 1 to 3, then you will be left with v1 users, then you might remove users, then you will be left with v1. Similarly, then swagger, then API. Then it is possible that under uh, any point, in it is might possible that uh, among these uh, endpoints, someone contains the API documentation as well. So you could also use a list of common paths to first directly first for documentation. Okay, so let's see this lab. So the label is apprentice. Apprentice. 
for exploiting an API documentation using API endpoint using documentation. So to solve the lab, find the exposed API documentation and delete Carlos. <laughs> As always, we will delete Carlos. So you can log into your own account using the following credentials: Wiener Peter. Okay, so access the lab. Okay, so let's open our Bob suit. I will use Fox suit proxy and here it is my Bob suit. Let's open these side by side. So let's go to my account. So first we need to log in. So it was winner Peter. Yeah, so we are logged in now. Your username is Wiener and your email is Wiener normal user dot net. Okay, let's try updating our email. We will do one two three at the rate gmail dot com. Let's see. So you can see a patch request is being made and uh, to the endpoint API user Wiener. Okay. Now what we can do is I will send it to repeater. Let's turn off the intercept. Okay. Now, uh, what happens if we remove uh, this VNR? You see, mall from URL expecting an identifier. Now, let's remove user as well. So it says not found. Let's remove this. It says 302 found. Let's see the response in browser. You can see as we go there, uh, there is one API documentation. So there are uh, three HTTP methods that can be used get, delete, and patch. So our task was to delete the user, Carlos. So now we can do that. So we just have to use delete. API user then Carlos and we don't need this. Let's see if this works. Yeah, you can see our user must have been deleted and now lab is solved. So that's all for this video. I will see you in the next video with the second lab of API testing. Till then keep learning.